So Jetour contacted me and said, Asafa, how would you like the keys to all three of our models? Model car, not females. Let me get that straight. All keys for the all three models of the cars, which is the, the first video I did was the T2. Then today, I'm actually going to shoot the dashing. And in the next video, we're going to shoot this car. So thanks to Jetour for trusting me with the keys for these cars. And yeah, guys, let's get on with the video. Today we're doing a review on this beautiful car, the Jetour Dashing. And what is the meaning of dashing? Beautiful, confident. Let's add sexy to it. So we're going to see if this car is all of those today and more. The first time I saw this car, the first thing that came to mind was Lamborghini Urus, Lotus Electra. Those cars really resemble. I'm not putting it in that category with those cars because by no means do they compare, but just how it looks, you know, I can say it looks like those cars in a sense, you know, when that's what you think of when you see this car. From the front, I love how the grille wraps around. The, the lights make, give it a very aggressive look, you know, the way all the lights are split. You know, I love the bumper and I can see where you know, people can throw a lot of aftermarket parts on this. You know, maybe a lip spoiler, maybe some bigger wheels. And this car comes with 19 inch wheels. And man, I can see where you put some nice 20 inch on it. You know, make it look, look a lot more sporty. Even though these wheels are quite fine, because knowing Jamaica roads, you need this amount of meat on the tires. So when you're dropping those potholes, you have no problem. Moving around to the back, the lights are pretty cool. Guys, let me know which part of this car is your favorite because I find both the front and around here to look very attractive. You know, the diffusers the under there, very sporty look. You have this light here, this kind of race car type of light there with the camera in the middle and you have the spoiler up there. So once you have the keys in your pocket, and the minute you walk up to the car, the doors open, the car greets you, boom, you're inside. Once you step into this car, you know, you, you're greeted with a lot, guys. You have your red stripes here on the dashboard. You have this screen, the screen that almost goes across to the passenger side. You know, a steering wheel. You know, you have a lot of storage under here. You shift on knob, you know, this looks pretty cool. Shift on knob, and you have wireless charging. You have storage under here, you have more USB ports under there. We have paddle shifts, guys. Um, we have all the buttons on the steering wheel to control everything. You can go here, you can change the modes. You can put it in sports mode. You can put it in sports steering or go back to eco mode. And it also has Apple CarPlay, so you're well entertained and you can dash your way through all the gears with your paddle shift. So we also have this knob where you can control the radio. You have your home button, power button, uh, return button, settings. You have your hill descent button right there, auto, stop, start, parking brake. And to put the car in park, you press this button to get it in drive. You have to press this lever right here and we're in drive back to park. Your AC control is right here. And what's cool is that when you touch the AC, like it pops up on the screen so you can even change anything you want on the screen as well man this car has so much so many features let i have a list of features right here that i want to share i'm not going to share all of them um cruise control lateral collision warning blind spot detection door opening warning lane change back wood collision rear geez, um, 360 panoramic visual parking one eight g's g's Electric AC, second row dependent. Jeez, I'm um, jeez. Oh gosh, 
until yo guys this is too much this is a lot of safety one time all the car had was abs and power steering and seat belt that's it man this has a lot of lot guys it also has a panoramic sunroof i should have opened the shade alone that goes all the way back and let's see how far back the panoramic sunroof goes That's it. A nice sunroof. Let's close that back. It has these ribbons here. I'm not sure what they're for, but it has a little magnet on it. I mean, I guess it just matches back with the, the stitching. Um, the doors are pretty cool. Everything has a different texture. You have a little leather feel right here. You have kind of a plastic feel here. Plastic down here as well. The dashboard plus is um, on the top of a little leather feel and then everything else is plastic. So we're in the back seat guys and I like to sit behind the way how I would fit my driver seat, the position that my driver seat would be in. I like to set it then sit behind it to see what it's like and you know it's fair for me. Like I say I'm 6'3 so fairly tall you know to be in a box seat let's go for this side I see a lot more space over this side my wife was sitting in this seat today and the headroom is very very good chunk space is pretty good let me see if I can fit in here. Yeah, man. I can fit inside here. Can hold two suitcases. So when you're going out on your weekend trips, you can put a suitcase inside. You can remove this for more space. And then come closer, guys. Let's see what's under here. All right, so where's the spare tire? Look at this. There you go, spare tires under that. I have a little space under here, I don't know what you'll put there, but there's a little space there. The seats. Hmm. All right, my seat needs to adjust a little bit, but this is a big trunk space, guys. When all the seats are folded down, it's a lot of space. When you get out of the car, guys, and walk away, the doors should automatically close. Let's go for it. There you go. This car costs a little bit over $5 million, and it's a lot of car for that money. I'll put the exact figure up on the screen. I've been driving it around in Kingston through traffic. You know, it's, it's comfortable, very comfortable, very easy to drive. I mean, it's a brand new car, you know, so it drives very well. We're out on the highway now, cruising at highway speeds. And guys, this car feels real good. This car has a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine and it has 150 horsepower and that's that's good enough horsepower for any any type of driving you know whether you're driving to the country driving anywhere it's good enough to go anywhere it has 150 horsepower as a good punch you know to many it might not be a lot but to who for who is going to drive this car it's a lot of horsepower the car is already in sport mode I mean, round town, I'll drive in eco, but once I'm out on the highway, I'll keep it in sport mode. So this car is a great family car. It has a lot of space. Seats three in the back, and a passenger plus the driver. So enough, enough space. It can hold the bags in the back, you know, you know the carry-on bags. 
So maybe if you're going out of town for the weekend, you and the family can relax. Guys, when I'm driving this car, it gives me a sport feel in the sense of the bonnet as, a, as those lumps, as the hips, like a Ferrari. It gives you that, that, that feel like you're driving a sport car. Let's go. Speed! <laughs> it's good enough, guys. It's, it's plenty quick enough to get you anywhere, anywhere in good time. It's a beautiful car for a female, I think, but I would drive it. If I buy it for the wife, I'm going to drive it. Same thing you can do. You can drive it. It comes in a few different colors. There's this one color that I really love. I will put it up on the screen. I think when I saw the car, I'm like, yo, this car looks like a supermodel. So definitely a good car for the females. You know, it's very, it's a, it's a beautiful car. I mean, dashing. Confidence, beautiful, sexy. You know what I mean? So I've been driving this car around and trying to figure out why does it cost only five million dollars? Because to me, you would think 10, 11 million dollars. You know, it looks that good and it, it drives very well. And the quality inside, guys, it's really good quality. There are cars out there selling for $10 million with, that are not so good quality. You know, so I would recommend this car most definitely because guess what? I don't think this price is gonna last very long, you know, because this is way too much car for the money. It's a lot of car for the money. So I definitely recommend it. And if you want maybe a bigger engine, you definitely will have to pay more money in the future. I don't know if they're gonna come with it, if they're gonna put the two liter in this car, but I would like the two liter in it though. I would definitely like it, two liter turbo, that the same engine that is in the T2, I think that engine in this car would definitely make, make I think that it's a Lamborghini Euros. We we'll drive like a Lamborghini Euros. <laughs> Just kidding, but Thanks for watching guys and we will see you guys in another video. Like I say, this is the dashing. It looks very dashing and it drives drives dashing, drives very confident. This car I, I'm very confident that this car is gonna do well in Jamaica. It's a good car.